Hi everybody, Lonnie here. Uh, this series is going to be about using um, OSIsoft's Web API, the PyWeb API, and AngularJS to create a dashboard. I'm going to go through an end-to-end -end example of what it would what it takes to integrate this technology together. Now, I did this talk at the UC earlier this year in 2016 at the OSI Soft User Conference, and uh, I got a really good response. But you know, there was a limited number of people that were able to attend the hands-on lab, and so I wanted to um, make this available to a wider audience. Hopefully, uh, after you see how straightforward this can be, that you'll um, maybe consider using this technology when you're doing your own projects. My goal is to uh, get everybody using uh, a lot of this uh, newer technologies, uh, like AngularJS and connecting that up to a Pi system and being able to do some really awesome things. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick, uh, quick demo of what what the application is going to look like when we're all done. Uh, let me go ahead and open a Visual Studio here, and um, we're going to start out with a with a very basic. Uh, we're going to start out with a new project actually and create it from the ground up, bringing in all the uh, libraries that we're going to need and uh, building up this, uh, this uh, application uh, step by step. We're going to end up with a couple of views in here uh, where we have the summary view and a production view to show you how navigation and routing work within Angular. And we're also going to create a service um, where we're going to go out. Uh, this is using the ASP.NET Web API. We're going to go out and uh, make calls uh, to the Pi Web API to get data and bring that back and populate a chart. Uh, I'll show you really quickly what the application uh, looks like when it's all done. Um, so it's uh, all built off of Angular and uh, the Pi Web API. And um, we're, you can see that uh, this, this is the data that, that that's uh, coming in uh, from for this chart that's coming in from um, from a Pi server. This the rest of these uh, KPIs are static. I can navigate over to different view. We'll talk about um, how these views and navigation works, and we'll and we'll talk about how to bring the data in in a in a way that makes a lot of sense in a real world application. We'll talk a little bit about the architecture of the application, um, breaking it down into what uh, what is going to be on the client side, which is running in the browser, and then what the, uh, the API looks like and why we're creating our own API and how that ties into the Pi system. We'll be looking at uh, step-by-step going through each one of these components and looking at uh, at um, how, how to build out each one of those. So. Uh, please uh, take a look at these videos and uh, if you like them uh, let me know and I'll keep doing more of these. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.